Are you shitners? Hello everyone and happy almost 2023. Oh, I give us a fright. Hopefully this upcoming year is going to be pretty good because... This year it just, it just hasn't been good has it, it hasn't been great. I don't think it's been great anyway, I think it's been a pretty bad one. I know I always say it whenever it gets around to New Year, how bad the year's been and I hope it gets better. And somehow it manages to get worse. It's weird that, isn't it? I don't know how it gets worse. Sometimes you think it can't get worse, and then it does. And then you're like, is it ever gonna get better? I'm sure it will. I'm sure this year's gonna be fantastic. I'm, t I'm telling you now, it's gonna be great. All this positive energy, come on. 2023, you're gonna be amazing. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. And I thought I would go into this new year by learning something completely new, completely different, and hopefully finding something that I actually really enjoy. And it's going to be origami. I've never ever tried it before. It's been suggested a lot of times on the channel that I try origami, and I'm finally gonna get around to doing it. And hopefully this is something that like I'm all right at and that I enjoy. I've just come off recording the calligraphy one, so. It will, it can't be any worse. Okay, so I bought this little kit here. It's the complete origami kit, and apparently everything I need is in this box. So I shouldn't have any issues at all. All right, let's get this open, see what it's like. So apparently this kit includes everything the origami beginner or accomplished expert needs to create a delightful collection of origami projects. Just and in here, I'm gonna be able to make a clown, a jet plane, a crane, a kimono, a candy box, a sailboat, a pinwheel, a ship, flowers, giraffe, penguin, elephant, dogfish, rabbit, swan, frog, whale, cat, and many more. So that sounds fun. I didn't realize I was gonna get like fancy paper. I thought I was just gonna get like bog standard regular paper. Look at that paper. That's some, that's some nice shiny stuff, isn't it? The thing is, they said this is for beginners. I have a feeling it's not gonna be for beginners. I think this is gonna be like an expert kit. <laughs> book one or book two, which one should I go for? Isn't it like like the red pill and the blue pill from like the Matrix or something? I've never seen the Matrix, so I don't know what that reference ever was to, but which path do I go down? All I'm offering is the truth. Nothing more. I'll go for book one. I could also have a look at both, could never decide. I don't need to put myself on the spot. Right, so in this one, it's got all of these things to create. I'll just have a quick look at book two. And book two, it's got all of them. Actually, book two looks easier, so I might go for book two. Yeah, because in book one, you have to make a table. And we all know I can't make a table. <laughs> I would like to make a swan, I think. I think a swan's a very traditional origami animal to make, isn't it? So number 28. Visually, this feels very easy to follow. It's not scaring us. I'm not intimidated by it. It feels, I just feel very relaxed, which is something I really appreciate. So they've gone for like a nice dotty paper. One thing I'm quite surprised about is the paper is incredibly thin. I thought for origami, the paper would be a little stiffer, but it's not, it's very, very thin. Okay, so let's see if I can make this one. So the first step is creating along the center and then fold the sides into the center crease leaving a small gap okay so i think i'm going right, i'm folding it into the center like that and then i'm taking them folds oh, i think they did that way actually yeah i think it's like that so fold that one like that okay yeah ah it's like making a paper airplane okay and i'm very good at making paper airplanes yes that looks exactly like theirs good fold the sides in again to the center right just like that again okay we're going back like that fold in half along the center and rotate Take the model. Yes, so we're going like that, folding it again in half. Right, I've done that. Inside, reverse fold, flap upwards. Oh, oh, it's starting to lose us now. Oh, oh, I know what you're on about. Right, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I see what you're, yep, yeah, I know. Yep, yeah, I get it. I get it, I get it, I'm getting it. <laughs> so you want us to do that and then fold that top part up like that. Yeah, I'm getting there now. Inside reverse for the tip of the flap. So this bit it needs to come down like that. Inside reverse fold the corner upwards. Oh, okay, up like that. Yep, yeah, got it. And then it just says complete swan. Am I ready to just complete the swan? No, no, I am not. I've done that wrong. I'm sure this bit's wrong. This bit is wrong. How have I done? And maybe I'm supposed to go up. Right, okay, I was uh, I was supposed to go the other way, so that needs to come. No, I've done the beak wrong now. Oh, okay, no, I've done it, yes. No, that's fine. It confused us a little bit, but I've, I've got there in the end. I don't think that tail bit's right, though. A lot of the stuff, like, goes inside. That's what's confusing is right, there we go. So that would go in like that. I have made a swan. I have made it. Are you shitting us? I've completely made the swan. Look at that. It's not perfect, but that 
is an origami swan and I've just made it. It's a little bit out of proportion. The beak's a bit too long, but other than that, I have completely made that kind of right. Look at that, that's well good. Check me out. Does it stand up on its own? No, that's fine. It doesn't need to. That wasn't too hard actually. What confuses us is folding it in on itself to make it 3D. My brain couldn't kind of get there. It got there in the end, but I struggled a little bit. Right, let's see what else I want to make. All right, I think I'll try the dog, number 23. Okay, so the first step is fold in half along the diagonal. I can do that absolutely fine. Fold the side down, starting from the center. Oh, this looks confusing. Look at this diagram. Which way are they going? Which way is first? Look at that. It must be like that. No, it's not. It's kind of like that shape right so you fold that down like that and then the other side down to match because they're going to be the ears sometimes i think it's easier to look at the picture ahead here they don't match particularly well but it's all right fold the top and bottom corners behind right so fold that bottom one behind and this top one behind okay mine doesn't look like the picture how did theirs all of a sudden change shape the face is too small i did that fold wrong try and fold it a bit further off and then fold it over i think that's where i made the mistake it's, it's a bit better my dog just has a very wide face but that's fine it's better than it was before and then draw a face on the dog okay I think if I hadn't drawn a face on, you wouldn't have a clue it was a dog. But there's my little dog. I think it kind of looks quite cute, actually. It's a little bit more flat than the swan. It's not as 3D, but it almost looks like theirs. I think mine's just a little bit on the flatter side, but it's, it's still, it doesn't, it doesn't look too bad. It's quite cute. Right, I think I've got time for one more. I'm actually really enjoying this. I think I'll go for a sailboat because I think a sailboat's a very traditional origami shape to make. So we'll try this, number 29. I wonder if people in Japan actually get taught origami as they're like grown up and not even just in school, but be taught by like their parents and their grandparents and stuff because it's a traditional Japanese craft isn't it because i can imagine they'll just be able to whip them out and not even have to think about it they'll just fold and fold and you've got like a lovely little sailboard it's a country actually that i would absolutely love to visit one time it's just incredibly far away it's so far away and i, I don't particularly like planes but there'll be one time in my life i will visit japan i don't particularly fancy going to the big cities because I, i'm not a fan of crowds and it's like really busy but i would really love to visit more of kind of rural japan <laughs> Oh, the power's just gone out. <laughs> I was just mid-sentence talking about Japan as well. I'll have to go pop the generator on and then I'll get back to it. <laughs> Right, I'm back. Sorry about that. One of the disadvantages of living off grid. I can't remember what I was talking about now. Something about Japan. I'd love to visit sometime. Right, let me try and make this sailboat. So, crease along the center, fold the sides to the crease. It's the exact same step as the swan. It's very paper plain. Fold the bottom corner up. Fold the corner down. So this bit, how far down? I assume about there. Fold the bottom section up all the way up to here. And then it just says complete sailboard. Excuse me. Complete sailboard? What do you mean? How do I complete it from there? Oh, I did it wrong. Oh, I see. Yeah, I folded it wrong. There, that's what it's supposed to look like. Oh, it's not as 3D as this one. But yeah, oh, that's cool. Oh, I've done it. That was really easy, actually. Look at my little sailboat. You can imagine that bobbing along on the sea. How cute. Oh, I'm so good at origami. This is actually a really, really fun little activity. I'm so into it. So I made my little sailboat, I've made my cute little swan, and then I've also made my little dog. I think my favourite would definitely have to be the swan. I think I like them more when they're quite 3D. This one's very 3D. The sailboat's simple, but it's incredibly flat. It's just a flat piece. And I do like the fact that with origami, you can draw on it as well, which I didn't think you could. I didn't think that was kind of allowed. I thought it was just paper folding. But no, super, super interesting. Really enjoyed that. I enjoyed this a lot more than I thought I was going to enjoy it because I thought origami would be incredibly technical and fiddly and it is to a certain extent but when you get the folds right and you start to figure out in your head which way they're supposed to go it's it's not too bad it's actually really enjoyable totally into that I would 100% recommend it so that just about does it for trying origami for the first time and to be fair if 2023 goes the same as me learning origami and trying that out we're in for a fantastic year. It's going to be really, really good. Do I have high hopes that 2023 is going to be a good year? 
No, I don't. I'm very skeptical. I think I'm gonna go into 2023 with like no expectations. I think that's the best thing to do is to go into a year with no expectations or very few expectations because then if you have certain expectations and it doesn't become a reality, then you're not disappointed, are you? See? I am full of wisdom and knowledge. So will it be a crap year? Will it be a good year? Who knows? Who cares? I don't care anymore. All I care about is the fact that I really enjoyed origami today. If you enjoyed it as much as I did, then make sure to give it a thumbs up. And this also completes December double uploads too. I've just realized this is the final one of December. And it's been, it's been quite intense. I've had a lot of videos to record. So I'll be going back to one video a week. Occasionally, I'll be throwing an extra one in now and again. But I'll see you in the new year for a brand new video. <laughs>